80 feet without, without walking stick and even sitting with their wife. So your reward is not just in heaven for what you have done for a great country. God has already blessed you with longevity, good health, and peace of mind with your family. When I was a worker, and I think on this occasion, I must thank you on behalf of those who were workers then. We were beneficiaries of Udoji Award. When you said, you cannot accept that public sector worker will be so underpaid that the only way they can ride the car is to steal. So you not only adjusted wages, you paid one year arrears. And I remember even uh, Fela the musician said, Motiba Udoji, Moge, Pomo, Mo, Ode. He has received Udoji award, he no longer eats Pomo, although the big men are taking Pomo now from the table of the poor. <laughs> so, sir, you touch many lives that you will never be able to recollect, but those who benefited, I'm sure they will never forget you in a hurry. When I was privileged to govern in this state, I had the honor of inviting your Excellency Cook to commission some projects. My wife and I were not sure when I told her who you were. But when you arrived Benin, that for me, I felt so fulfilled that the village boy can invite a former Nigeria head of state. For all that has spoken, uh, President Obasanjo did make the point that most of us here may not know anything about you where you were in the military, no to talk about where you were in government. But I, I had opportunity of asking a former general who later became a president of Nigeria. And he said to me, as a young officer, in the Nigeria most challenging period which President Gulo Jonathan re referred to, that when they want to go the, on the offensive, you will say, please remember, this is a family affair. We must not spill blood. We must remember that the objective is to keep Nigeria warm. And he said, for some of them who were hawks, they said, General Gawa should be a Catholic priest <laughs> and not a military officer because he doesn't like any life be wasted. So, sir, you done much more to keep Nigeria one. And since you left office, if we are going to talk of a man who can be said to be a true father, not involved in any controversy, not bereft of ideas, but you know where to channel those ideas. That man leave it today is General Yakubu Gowan. And let me report to you, sir. Since President Obasanjo reported somebody to you, let me copy him and report to you that even the NYSE is on that threat. That vision that people must be posted outside their state of origin is almost being lost. And I believe that on this occasion, the mandate of NYSE will be obliged to revisit that law that set up, in my view, the most important legacy project of your governance. And lastly, uh, to the guest speaker, you are extremely, extremely eloquent, brilliant, and a true son of Africa. The only thing I found missing is that the ideological underpinning which has led us to where we are, you escaped it. I think we must revisit it. How did Volkswagen relocate out of Nigeria? How did Pujo Otobobi relocate out of Nigeria? How did Machelin relocate out of Nigeria? How did Dolop relocate out of Nigeria? And here Nigeria become their key marketplace. That is arising, in my view, from reckless submission to Western commitment to free market. A market cannot be there if you only buy and you don't have anything to sell. May we have the wisdom to have a balanced ideological foundation for the sustainable growth and development of Nigeria. General Gawan, you deserve celebration. New Zans, Lily. That's what they do to themselves. Don't be surprised. Yeah, the ruiners of Nigeria, when they praise themselves, you will think Nigeria is uh, this modern day Dubai or a modern day London, kind of. That's what they do. When you see them in their gatherings, the political class, the elite, and the rest of them, when they begin to paint the glow, uh, Ibn, Ibn Bukhari, 
then you do bed day four. The same thing will happen. Uh, they will be painting this glorious, oh, you did so much for Nigeria. You are very, very, ah, oh, only God will reward you. And yeah, 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 yeah. But outside that room, is a country they have be, they, that has become so balkanized, filled with hateful, divisive rhetorics from these same individuals, a shit hole that is, that is the poverty capital of the world. Outside that room is the Nigeria that, uh, make I show you, like this one. This is the state. You can see a white man there. Sharing bread to people in Ajawa State. But this morning he shared a Bible. People were not on line like this. The line was few. But now see bread line. See the white man. Can you see it? Can you see him? See people on line. You see him in Ajawa State. This is Park Lane Hotel. Near Park Lane Hotel. And this is Eleganza. Eleganza. So people will see a big power That's what people are shouting. A big power Why? Uh, this man won't finish us before he go release this country for us. Can you see a white man sharing bread and Bible? See people jubilating. Did you get that? And also the country that they have bequeathed to us. So this Olori Bruku supposed the uh, leader, so like this one. Officer of the law, officer of the law, officer of the law. What else, sir? I mean, I'll get change. Hmm. This is 200, this is 300, uh, 200. How much do you get? 1,000 I give you now. How much do you get? 200. Four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. Eh, no, 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 no. I go set to plenty in a just as they go. I beg, I beg. Now the one where the cost quarter between me and I'll be that. No, 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 no. Are they serious? I beg no vex. I did vex. I beg no vex. The contraption they left for us. Right, where people can't even choose who represents them or lead them without violence, like what happened in Kaduna today. <laughs> Nigeria we have to be very proud of. In Nigeria where 
a militant lead, the militants are leaders too. The Nigeria they bequeath to us, like this one. <laughs> See that with the Asari said, eh, that hat is like those uh, colonial police uh, hats. They can't put chain on the side. That's him titled himself. That is the Nigeria that uh, the likes of uh, Yakubu Golos are living for us. Those of us with them born after their genocidal war, that is the Nigeria they are living for us. The ones that they want us to be so proud. One Nigeria, big Nigeria. The people that got almost everything during their time. They have now left us with uh, just a complete total shit hole, like this one. This is all right. Every flood, Lagos Road don't close. Flood don't cover everywhere for Lagos Road. This is all right. Flood don't close. No road. All right. Look at see the flood. Lagos Road, all right. Roads closed. See flood. Lagos Road, dog Jabrata. Let the drill, drill, they not really drill the road. Drill the erosions, all the stream. Nigeria government say for where? I to share money on the side. Now, do you water the verse? How did you shoot the verse? They don't come block the road. When I see people, they pass. Uh huh. I let us roll with this Let us roll. I'm sorry. 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 I'm no, my father. I'm not his food. Come on there. This is Lagos Road. Now, this year, that was that go carry moto. That was how you do. Go carry moto. You must enter. Go carry moto. Hey, what's your question? Now, great. And and and, you know not to see more. You know not to see more. You don't know how to swim, oh. No, 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 no. That place get drainage, oh. Is it all? That place get drainage. You know, they say, I'm going to go to my brother. 
Olha o pessoal. Olha o pessoal. Let go slow, Dore. Let go slow, Dore. Let go slow, Let go slow, Dore. This is Dore. This is Dore. That is our proud United Nigeria, or is it this one, guys? Please, I want you to help me to tag Fairy Dark Man or Beast Loaded or any blogger with this video that I'm that, that I sent right now. As you can see, as we people are many here, eh? These people come as empowerment, training, and provision of startup grants to women in Kwara South. That's me there, yes, as you can see. I do not fear anybody. Look at me very well. You can't use me to do anything. Me, I will sell my home. Hey, if I will die now, now. Kiku. But you said you empower us. You, you came to empower us. And you use this laptop to deceive us. That you are going to give us laptop. And you not give us you not give us any laptop home. You just use the laptop to take picture with us and feed you. And you said that you give us laptop. People get by me, oh, they did not give us laptop. We guess you as you are seeing me that one big laptop find anyone should be Ben Quara on a lie. Oh, it was violated by Senator Yellow Lai Isha Shiro. They let out pack it at the end. If you will, if you look at the video, they pack it. Maybe they have contact with the Lenovo company. They let out pack it at the end. As you can see, see them, they are packing it. So they not give us any laptop. Oh, you really do what you eh? And then you look at us, this generation, they say we are ungrateful. The generation that you have given nothing, but they should be proud of the contraption like Nigeria. Let us be proud. Nigeria will be great one day. How? Eh? That is why this guy that was born in 1991, I've been told, his name is Aboye Aboy or something. One of uh, those people hired online at the time to deceive young young people that Bokwari was uh, uh, reforming Nigeria for their future. Only for the Olori Bruku now to appear again, working with Boson. You know Boson, that's the minister of uh, AI in uh, under Tifnumbu. He eh? is now coming to tell us that Nigerians are very wasteful when it comes to electricity. Don't be waiting, you get, you go waste. Nigerians are very wasteful. And that is why uh, uh, Tifnumbu's government is doing a reform on the yeah, 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 Oman man. 1991, 2001, 2021, 2011. So that's going to be like a 30, is possibly 33 years old. Eh? But listen to this mofo. Nigeria cannot generate 5,000 uh, megawatts of electricity. In uh, 2015, when APC Egbe -Kegbe, took over from Good Luck Egbe Rejolantan, Nigeria was generating over 9,000 megawatts of electricity and distributing at the time over 6,000 megawatts of electricity. APC, Egbe Kegbe said, they will generate 10,000 10, every year. For eight years, they were supposed to have generated 80,000 megawatts of electricity. Guess what? Nine years after, they are promising Nigerians that by next year, Nigeria will be generating 6,000 megawatts of electricity and distributing 5,000. Because now their national grid is now doing Dakudaji, epilepsy, epileptic power supply, Dakudaji. A 33 years old man who worked, removed eight years from his age. He was 25 years old. He was one of those, uh, uh, what do you call it? All those uh, computer guys, you know, who are doing uh, coding, this coding, that on, on Twitter. So he, he was one of those hired 
to launder the image of uh, Boko Hari then, when they are shouting change, 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 okay? That, ah, the government of Boko Hari is going to, eh? Nine years after that, it's been part of their government, okay? As a spokesperson. He's talking about Nigeria as being wasteful. Don't be waiting, you get to go waste. This is a shiri, yeah. Just um, not like that. Absolutely. I have a rather unpopular view from most people, um, which is, you know, a lot of young people you ask this question will probably um, tell you they're not very optimistic, they're not very um, 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 happy. And while I acknowledge there are a lot of challenges, I have never been more optimistic about the future of this country than I am now. Fantastic. And perhaps it's because I'm an avid reader of history. Mm. Um, I remember in 1971, um, again, I wasn't born then. I was born in 1991, maybe 20 years <laughs> later. But from the history, you know, in 1971, um, the U.S. unpegged from the gold standard. Mm. And that was a very tumultuous time for the U.S., right? Because ultimately, you know, um, currencies need to float. Things need to be priced in real time mm -hmm. uh, and so on and so forth. Um, but unfortunately, the U.S. economy was sort of weighted uh, to the to the gold at that time, yes, yeah. and had to be unhitched from that, and it was done by a very unpopular president that we know today as Nixon. Yeah, the guy that was uh, impeached. It was impeached. Yeah, but if you looked, if you look at America since 1971, you know, shortly after you had the internet come up, um, started in 1968, the internet became a real thing. Sort of 20 years later, um, you looked at um, the rise of personal computers. I think Microsoft was established in 1975. Mm. Um, you think about technological advancements mm. since 1971 till today, right? Mm. And you see where it has taken the economy. You will realize that that was the single unlock for an extremely deflationary trend that meant that productivity ballooned. And today, the America of today versus the America of 1971 is far from, from the same. It's mm. probably been the lo longest run of 50 years of prosperity. Right. Um, and that was just 50 years ago. Mm. Um, I feel like we're in a 1971 moment in Nigeria. Wow. Two big shifts. First of all, um, our currency is cheaper. We're one of the cheapest currencies in the world for the first time. And a lot of young people may not understand the significance. But the truth is, prior to now, what we called prosperity was really just us, you know, foiling incredible amounts of debt and cheating our children, right? Um, because we're living in an unsustainable economy, an economy where, you know, 10 years ago or, or maybe more like 15 years ago, an entry-level employee of a bank could book a ticket to Paris, <laughs> that is unsustainable, right? An mm. economy where we weren't paying the full price of energy, right? Mm. And government was taking our oil wealth and subsidizing essentially consumption. Mm. Now we have created this economic, we have built an economy or we are rebuilding an economy on fundamentals. First of all, now our currency is cheap, which means our labor is actually more priced Mm. everywhere in the world, right? The minimum wage today is about $40, right? A month, right? Which means that there are a lot of jobs that our young people before would have considered not worth their time that today, um, especially in the digital economy, are now finally worth their time. Okay. And I know a lot of smarter entrepreneurs would take advantage of it. So it won't be 70000 uh Monthly. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. It would be more than that, right? But the idea is that's a benchmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And think mm -hmm. about exports as well. Now our exports are some of the cheapest in the world. Now right. it actually makes sense to produce in Nigeria, mm. even with the high cost of energy, because labor is fairly cheap, mm. right? That's true. Um, with energy costs, we are finally getting rid of a subsidy regime, which means Nigerians have been extremely wasteful. <laughs> when it comes to their energy usage. I, I see why you said that your views may not be popular. They are not popular. We're a wasteful country. People put on the lights. <laughs> people drive SUVs like because if it's pure the, water. The minister said this and he got into trouble. Well, I'm not the minister. So <laughs> exactly. I, can say, I can say this very, <laughs> very boldly. Um, <laughs> so we're a wasteful society. And now we are learning economics. 
Mm. And um, it's painful. Learning economics is not easy. I, me, I have now apps in my house that are turning off my lights. I'm watching it. I'm watching my bill per it's second per second on my phone, right? <laughs> um, I've, I'm thinking about changing my cars now because mm. I can't afford the gas guzzling. It's too much on me. I'm not. I'm looking at changing out my car. Hey, you, you, you are, you are, you are a owner of a unicorn. Come on, stop talking yes, like that. Fact, if I spend all the money, of <laughs> I won't have any, any more and I'll be begging on the streets. Of course, of course. So, so this is an opportunity for young people. Maybe mm-hmm. for the old people who are set in their ways, that is the end. It is, this signals the end of many empires. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, and I'm very happy about that. But this signals a new beginning for Nigeria's youth. Um, and if they have new Zans, Lele. Do you see what this mofo is actually pushing? I'll give you an idea. It was comparing America's uh, 